Wow, you're giving me a very, very difficult situation. Um, well, it's as much as writing an autobiography. And uh, you see, when you talk about myself, or I have to speak about myself, I'm actually defining myself, okay? And um, I would like to point out here that when you define yourself, there are two large issues that come forefront. One is a public opinion and one is a personal opinion of oneself. Now, in the eyes of the public, I'm a Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan uh, recipient of the largest number of awards as an educationist uh, mentioned in the Lim Book of Records and so on. But when I look at myself as an individual, I realize that uh, uh, there are miles to go before I sleep. I'm just a dot in the ocean of service. I have big dreams and my dreams are not for myself. These dreams are for those who need hand holding. My dreams are for those special children, the mystery of which I have no answer for. Why does God create them? And why do they take birth? Because they will always, always need all the Shama Chonas in the world to feel good. The turning point in my life was the birth of the Mana. I would always think that motherhood is a beautiful experience and the challenges of motherhood are real and when you have a challenged child then that challenge becomes multiple. I gave birth to Tamanna, my daughter and I realized that God's creation had gone something had gone wrong somewhere whether it was her eyes or it was her lips or it was her head I mean everything it seemed like a broken doll and I had no means of repairing it because if God spoils something the human endeavor is very very uh, you know uh, impossible and then I realized, Shama Chona, what have you created? Do I say that a disabled child is the creation of God? Or do I say that the disabled child is the creation of the mother? Because I had nursed the baby for nine months. When my own daughter was born, I thought uh, it was very, very sad, uh, you know. And uh, I really felt uh, why me? And these questions didn't stop uh, coming to my mind. But now I have an answer. Why me? Because I had to go through this journey to be able to uh, achieve not only for myself, but for the rest of them, that 10% population of the world's solutions for their parents. Now I feel that Whenever you are, uh, you know, uh, having a baby in your arms, which is not perfect, then don't call it a curse, call it a blessing, because it makes you matured. They are much happier than you, I can assure you. Their, uh, my daughter's level of joy is much greater than mine. She doesn't forget anybody's birthday. She doesn't forget to say good morning. She's perfect on WhatsApp. And many people are telling me, oh, Tamanna, which is us good night, good morning, how are you? I mean, we people in the run of life forget these little courtesies which make us all so happy. So we are teaching these children to give joy, to receive joy. And also I think there's a great uh, camaraderie among themselves. And um, I think they have no worries. We worry for them. They are bindas. They are absolutely top of the world. You won't believe it today, Tamanna is 44 years old and she is teaching in DPS Infant Vasant Vihar. She is so successful and I sometimes feel that she has much greater social skills than I do. Her confidence level is up there and uh, she sings, she dances, she loves party time and she knows exactly how to make herself, you know, love. My 
father was a Rai Sahib, you know, and he, he was given this title from Lord Waverley, and I was the last of the five siblings. We used to live six months in Simla and six months in Delhi because the British capital changed. Uh, so we had lots of fun and then I was sent to uh, the country's first and the best all-girls uh, public school called Maharani Gayatri Devi. And I was selected uh, after my MA to go to Ohio for my research. Uh, so I think uh, my entire upbringing has been uh, like, uh, you know, uh, a bed of roses. Those teachers who worked with me in DPS for uh, all 38 to 40 years uh, remember me, my kids remember me. Uh, one of my students of the 1980 badge, Raghuram Rajan, is the governor of the RBI. And at this point, when I have 50 years of, uh, you know, professional life behind me and a daughter of 44 years, and uh, I realize that nothing is impossible. You can be a good mother, you can be a good daughter, as long as you have faith in yourself. And that faith in yourself doesn't just come, it has to be built. And I think it begins with your upbringing as a baby, as a child. What kind of environment your parents have brought you up? And I always believe in three E's, exposure, environment, and education. Uh, to confess, I was managing nothing. God was managing for me. I have no answers for the mysteries of my life because when I look back and I realize that thousand children were passing out in 12th class every year from DPS and 90% uh, of them were scholar badge holders, uh, I realized that it couldn't be me, it must be an entity bigger than me that was uh, really doing everything for me. Challenges are there in every walk of life. This may be a little more challenging, but the joy that I have received, the satisfaction that I have got, uh, has led me to have even greater dreams. As I said, miles to go before I sleep and every single day I am uh, you know being uh, sort of injected by God with bigger visions they are special they are creation of God for all of us to learn that how perfect human body is supposed to be and we forget it because this perfection comes so easily to us it is when you live in the company of special people you realize that everything God has placed for most people in place, whether it's the eyes or it's the nose or it's the ears, or it is your vocal cords or it is your, you know, entire um, uh, growth physically, mentally, emotionally. And when something goes amiss, how hard it is to repair. I must um, confess that I've had excellent cooperation, excellent collaboration, excellent, um, you know, uh, what should I say, acceptance of the fact that the Manna as an organization was the first special center in Delhi for the mentally challenged. And we had a hostel uh, for boys and girls to begin with. And uh, the parents felt that here is an oasis in their life of desert because these kids want company these kids want love these kids want to be occupied these kids want to touch the sky Tare zameen par. the learning by themselves is not possible so you have to create situations you have to create uh, material you have to create environment which will make these kids you know learn i'm very sad because in spite of all that is happening uh, there is very little which our, um, you know, society is accepting. A lot needs to be done by the um, government of India. Uh, this is a sector where, you know, the need to help is huge. But uh, provisions require greater understanding. And as I said again and again, 
that each in and every individual whether he is capable or not has aspirations the challenges of life are not uh, finding solutions in the books of ma and so on uh, they are uh, finding solutions within yourself i live my life in a way that uh, it's the last day of my life as far as living it up is concerned but i have the whole life ahead of me as far as learning is concerned so it's impossible for me to answer your question but surely i think uh, if uh, people want to hear something from me it is introspect i think i'm a gardener to a gardener the garden is very beautiful important and new blossoms come beautiful flowers come but they don't belong to the gardener similarly nothing belongs to me not even my thoughts all i can say is that uh, life is what you make it to be and uh, you can't blame your past karmas i mean i i i don't know about them because i haven't seen my past life and you cannot solve the mysteries of uh, what you land up in and three accept but improve that situation after accepting it